Like bridges, tunnels are a modern-day engineering marvel, even though humans have been boring them for thousands of years. In the past, we hewed tunnels out of massive rock faces with chisels and hammers. Over the centuries, our methods have improved. Now, we bore tunnels with tunnel boring machines, or moles, allowing us to dig deeper and farther than we ever have before. With our modern technology, we can excavate faster and smarter, resulting in massive networks of tunnels that dramatically reduce travel time between locations. To give you the full picture of the longest rail and road tunnels to date, we've made a list of some of the longest tunnels in the world. Number 1. The New Gotthard Tunnel The world's longest and deepest rail tunnel has officially opened in Switzerland after almost two decades of construction work. It opened on June 1, 2016, and full service began on December 11, 2016. This monumental construction came at a cost of some $12 billion. The new Gotthard Tunnel isn't merely the world's longest, but with up to 2,300 meters of rock above it, also the deepest traffic tunnel and the first flat low-level route through the Alps, with a maximum height of 550 meters above sea level. The idea to build this tunnel was born 69 years ago. Swiss engineer Edward Grunner first came up with the concept in 1947. Grunner predicted the visionary project could be finished by the start of the 21st century, and he turned out to be off by just 16 years. More than 28 million tons of rock had to be excavated from the mountain near the Gotthard Pass to create a total of 151.84 kilometers of tunnels, shafts, and passages. Now that trains will run on a specially constructed, almost entirely flat track through the tunnel, they'll be able to reach speeds of up to 250 kilometers per hour. This will slash the journey time between Zurich and Lugano by 45 minutes, making the trip possible in just two hours. Number 2. Saiken Tunnel The Saiken Tunnel is an undersea tunnel linking Japan's main island of Honshu with the northern neighboring island of Hokkaido. It is 33.4 miles long. 14.3 miles, which lie under the Sugaro Strait that separates Honshu from Hokkaido. The tunnel contains a rail line, and the building of the tunnel was sponsored by the Japanese National Railways. Construction of the tunnel began in 1964 and was completed on March 13, 1988, having cost a total of $7 billion to construct, almost 12 times the original budget, much of which was due to inflation over the years. The digging employed as many as 3,000 workers at one time, and took 34 lives in all because of cave-ins, flooding, and other mishaps. Despite the tremendous engineering, construction, and financial effort involved, the Saiken Tunnel is only of limited use since air travel between Honshu and Hokodayo is quicker and is almost as cheap as rail travel through the tunnel itself. When the tunnel was first planned in the 1950s, ferries were the main transport method between the main island and Hokodayo. Two stations are within the tunnel, they serve as emergency escape points. In a fire or other disaster, the stations provide the equivalent safety of a much shorter tunnel. The two were the first railway stations in the world built under the sea. Number 3. Channel Tunnel Channel Tunnel, also called Euro Tunnel, a rail tunnel between England and France, runs beneath the English Channel. The Channel Tunnel, 31 miles long, consists of three tunnels, two for rail traffic and a central tunnel for services and security. The tunnel connects the UK and northern France and is used for both freight and passenger traffic. The undersea portion of the Channel Tunnel extends below the English Channel at the Strait of Dover and has the longest undersea segment in the world at 23 miles. Plans to build a cross-channel fixed link appeared as early as 1802. Still, British political and media pressure over the compromising of national security had disrupted attempts to build a tunnel. The eventual successful project, organized by Eurotunnel, began construction in 1988 and opened in 1994. The cost finally amounted to 9 billion euros, equivalent to 19 billion euros today, 80% more than expected. An average of 60,000 passengers passes through the tunnel each day, along with 4,600 trucks, 140 buses, and 7,300 cars. A reported 26% of trade in goods between the UK and continental Europe goes through the Channel Tunnel each year, which represents a total value of 160 billion euros annually. Number 4. The New Guangzhou Tunnel 
The new Guangzhou Tunnel is a dual-bore, dual-rail tunnel extending across the Qinzhou-Tibet Railway in Guangzhou Mountain. The previously used northern bypass of the Guangzhou Mountain overcame a 300-meter high incline with numerous switchbacks and loops. The journey time was four hours, and the line was single track, so that train traffic from the opposite direction was obstructed. On the steep stretch, three diesel locomotives had to be used in front of each train. The longest railway in China sat at 10,800 feet above sea level and took seven years to complete before it opened in 2014. The total length of the tunnel is 32,645 kilometers, which makes it the longest railway tunnel in China and the world's longest railway tunnel at a high altitude. The second line of Xining Goldman Railway of Tibet covers a full length of 818 kilometers and is the only railway connecting Qinghai Province and Tibet Autonomous Region. Number 5. The Guadarrama Tunnel The Guadarrama Tunnel is a railway tunnel across the Sierra de Guadamara, forming a key portion of the Madrid-Leon high-speed rail line in Spain. It is the largest tunnel in Spain, as well as being the fifth largest in the world. The tunnel comprises two individual parallel tubes with regular interconnecting galleries throughout their lengths. The western tube is 28,407 meters long, and the eastern tube is 28,418 meters long. The project consisted of constructing a railway line for trains with a speed of 350 kilometers per hour. The approach selected for the excavation phase was via four double shield tunnel boring machines, the design of which was specially adapted to suit the local geology. Furthermore, to minimize environmental impact, there was no use of intermediate stages during the construction process, which was a rare option for a high-speed tunnel of such length. Before the construction of the tunnel, which cuts directly through the mountains, travel time between the cities took well over an hour. Now the tunnel services high-speed railway trains, reducing traffic time to 30 minutes. Currently, the longest and most impressive tunnels are concentrated in parts of Europe and Asia due to their mountainous topographies. But that's soon to change. With groundbreaking projects like Elon Musk Hyperloop on the horizon, it seems like it's only a matter of time before tunnels of unprecedented lengths are bored between key cities in the USA. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to find out more interesting topics. And as always, thanks for watching.